To understand the work of DevOps engineer, you must know what the field DevOps is. So hey there, this is Akshay Nandan. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to clear all your doubts about DevOps, how to become a DevOps engineer, what salary can you expect in India and USA, and which all skills you should have to become a good DevOps engineer, right? So let's begin with the first step of understanding what DevOps is. So as the name defines, DevOps, Developer Operations. So before DevOps was introduced, what used to happen was there used to be two fields, development field and operations field. In a company also, there used to exist two teams, development team and operations team. So as the name defines development team responsibilities were to create features, were to code, were to write the logics, and they used to deliver these features to the operations team, right? And operations team responsibility was to maintain that code to deploy that code on Play Store apps if they're making an app or to host a website if they're making a website. And if there is some update in the code, they used to again maintain it. They used to again host it, right? They used to again rebuild it. So their work was to maintain it. Development team work was to code the features, coding and maintaining, right? There used to exist a boundary wall between them. They, there used to be two different teams who were doing these two separate tasks. But because of this, there was a problem. Development team just used to code the features and deliver a lot of code to the operations team. And it was become very hectic for the operations team to maintain that code without having actual knowledge of what the code is written. Cheating karta hai to... Because you also know that if someone gives you a piece of code, it will become hard for you to understand, right? Because you were not the part of that process when that code was being written. Exactly, right? So that's why slowly, slowly DevOps model came into existence, where both these teams were not isolated. They are mixed and the people who work under this model, the DevOps model are called DevOps engineers. So as we have now merged these two teams, development team and operations team, now you know that there won't be just a single process happening in this team, right? There will be a complete life cycle that will be happening. So various steps are there in this DevOps cycle, planning, coding, building, testing, releasing, maintaining, operating and monitoring, right? So this is called a complete DevOps life cycle. So people who work under the DevOps team, the DevOps engineers are aware of this life cycle and they work according to this DevOps life cycle. Now, what are the advantages you get uh, in this DevOps model? Speed, reliability, proper collaboration between the people be between different engineers, security is there, scaling is there and features can be delivered at a rapid scale, right? Now question might be uh, emerging in your mind that which all tools you have to learn to become a DevOps engineer. Let's say you have to become a web developer. Then you learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript. If you have to become an app developer, you have to learn Kotlin or Swift, Flutter, React Native, right? But if you want to become a DevOps engineer, then what do you need to learn? So clearly saying there is not a single tool that you have to learn in DevOps, right? There are multiple tools that you need to be aware of and you need to master those tools. Number first tool that should be known by every engineer is Git. Every software engineer should know this tool called Git. So Git, GitHub, you should be aware of. Then other tools can be Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins, Puppet, Maven, Gradle, Chef is there, GI is there. So these are like tools which play a very critical role and a significant role in the DevOps life cycle, right? And also in the CI-CD cycle. So what is CI-CD? Continuous integration and continuous deployment. Let's say a feature is coded and let's say some feedback is given by the customers and the team updated those features. So they just need to rebuild it. They just need to rehost it. Right? So this is called a complete CI CD cycle, which is a part of the DevOps. So I hope that you understand this DevOps term and the work of the DevOps engineer in very simple terms. Now let's come to the salary for which you guys are waiting. So what average package can you get as a DevOps engineer? Right? So basically, frankly speaking that if you will join as a fresher uh, for a DevOps uh, internship or a DevOps job, then you can expect around 12 LP to 13 LP in India. And in USA, it is $90,000 to $100,000. But if you get an experience of two years, then in USA, it goes up to $120,000 as an average package. And in India, it goes beyond 15 LPA, right? So this is the average salary that you can expect as a DevOps engineer. And I'm expecting that, that you are a good engineer, right? I'm not considering that you just know the basics and you are applying for a job. Then you can expect five to six LPA in India, right? So that's also a barrier that I'm putting on you that you should be good in your skills. Then only you can expect this salary range, 12 to 15, you can expect as an average beginner salary, right? If you're a good engineer, right? So I hope that you like this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and till the next video, till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.